Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. What a joy it is to be in the assembly of the saints one more time. Say what you want to, it's nobody like the saints. I was saying to some of the brothers that were with me that you never know what will befall you in life. Yes, sir. The Lord did not say we would not go through problems, through trials, through tribulations, but he did promise that whatever we go through, that he would be with us. Mm. We had such a glorious time on Tuesday at the official opening and I heard about uh, Tuesday night, went to bed looking forward to morning manna on Wednesday, woke up in the middle of the night and couldn't get up out of the bed. <laughs> but I said to the Lord, uh, uh, Lord, I don't want you to let the saints come from everywhere and we come to morning manna and if I'm only able to just get there and sit. Yeah. <laughs> and in just a minute, I'm gonna call for Pastor Allen, uh, uh, Pastor Rance Allen, and he's going to sing from Psalm 28, hear my voice. And after that, I want to talk to you from the scripture, but let me just say this to you. Take a seat. Let me just give you about two minutes of my testimony. <laughs> what many of you do know and what many of you don't know is that although I did not reveal it publicly until last year on Bishop Mason's birthday, and I'm talking about on uh, September the 8th, 2005, it was in this meeting three years ago, the year 2003, three years ago that I was informed that I had uh, terminal prostate cancer was in the fourth stage. My doctor, my urologist, who's also one of our elders, Elder Charles Wallace, stand up, Elder Wallace. Elder Wallace, being a man of faith, he, um, he wouldn't say anything to me as it talked as it related to prognosis. So I went around him and went to my oncologist and I knew he was supposed to tell me whatever. I said, usually when you are in a full stage and it's already metastasized into the bone, how long does it usually take before you're out of here? He said, I've known some people who lasted longer, but usually two years. Now, I don't know how long it had been in the bone when they found it, but it's been there at least three years. And, um, and I know I may look bad to some of y'all, but I, I'm not ready to die yet. <laughs> I know, I know, I know there are young preachers, young evangelists, young pastors. They want to get to be bishops. 
bishops who want to get to be general board members and some general board members that want to be presiding bishop. But let me tell you, this job will kill you. <laughs> But when you are in the will of God, you can have it and you can go to God for healing. And he may not heal you. He may just do like um, I, I get every so many months. He may just give you a shot. Lord, what you doing? He said, well, I'm just giving you another injection of grace. I hear you. I'm not, not going to heal you, but my grace is sufficient. Yes, Why don't you tell somebody, I don't know what you're going through, but his grace is sufficient.